This is where it all started. When I became a different person, when I almost sent the entire world back to the Dark Ages. Dang it. I can't beat this game. Took me five days to master the game, but I finally beat it. Woo. Well done. You've unlocked a new skin. If my timing is correct, which it always is, this week's trash rockets should be blasting off in exactly 3, 2, 1. And a half. Right on time. Why are we blasting rockets into the sky? The garbage man was giving me a lip about having to pick up toxic waste. So your solution was to load all of our trash into a rocket and shoot it into space. That's right, and all of our trash is now orbiting this big blue marble we call home. Weird flex but okay. Hey there fellow friends I hope you all are having a good day just as I Rosie am having. Don't mind me please return to your business. What was that about? He has a point. Rosie has been acting a bit weird lately. Should we follow her and see what's going on? No. Let's wait for our problems to get back to us. Deal. Your dad's making you do prisoner checks? What did you do Rosie? Throw out his hair gel. I'm sorry, Rosie isn't home right now. If you'd like to leave a message I'll still ignore you. So who are you? Cause you look like Rosie. Oh, really? How about now? Wait, who are you? I'm Trent, the creator of the viruses. I took over Rosie's body so I can begin my plan on creating new viruses. What viruses? These. I am virus. I took the body. Okay then. So what are you doing here, Rosie? Long story short, I uploaded my entire consciousness to a supercomputer, you know, as a backup plan. Anyways, it took a couple of years but I managed to hack the satellite so I can bring the virus back and the whole world will be under my control. Listen up, whatever you have planned for Kai Ulio and Boris, I can definitely make it worse. Oh, sure you can. Kind of got a lot going on right now with the whole possessing someone else so I can send humanity back to the Dark Ages. But be ready, I might let you out if I need to. Dad. I think we ran out of trash rockets. So buy more. Weird, that sounds like one of the rockets. And where did that rope tied around your ankle come from? Oh, would you look at that? Why? <laughs> ha! He's not gonna be happy about that. I am not happy about this. You know I was just taking a nice sun out there, when someone tied me to one of those rockets and launched me into space. What? No one's gonna look shock. Okay. My fault. Oh, don't give me your petty shocks, especially you. Me? What did I do? Not you. I mean her. Surely you can't mean me, Rosie. Your daughter from before. You're not, Rosie, my daughter from before at all. Well, of course I am. Tell him, Kalu. You have been acting weird lately. I find it strange that of your headset shows up on our doorstep and I think that it has taken control of Rosie and there is only one villain smart enough to pull this off. Layla. I am a lot smarter than Layla. Oh, I got it. It's a slow morph of time. I'm Trent, the creator of the virus. We have to hurry, reverse the effect until she is not possessed. You can't stop me. She is at the reversing point. Hurry. What's going on? This Rosie is clean. So, whatever happened to those VR goggles? Kalu helped me put it inside a trash rocket. It's good to have you back. 
Now we'll never have to worry about the viruses ever again. But we were wrong. The story wasn't over, not even close. Where Quit are we? touching me. Lights turn on. I'm scared of the dark. Wait, why are we scared? It's four against one. I'm scared of the mess I'm going to have to clean up. Too bad for you. Hi. Nobody move. I spent a lot of time rewiring the satellites when I possessed Rosie. Nice going, Rosie. I was possessed. Also, I have no memory of that. Well, I hope you all enjoy your first and last time turning into a virus. I'll be back using the satellite dish to get my revenge on you. Keep an eye out. They're highly contagious. Enjoy death future dead people. No. Okay. I am virus. He's going to access a satellite in space so he can turn the world into a virus. No, he won't. Cause we're gonna stop him. Dad, how do we stop him? Yeah, is there a way you can find the satellite he's talking about? Sorry guys, there's literally over 1,000 satellites circling the Earth. It would take years to find it. Oh, got it. Now we can take out the satellite. Wait, even if we do take out the satellite, who's gonna take out the guy who created the virus? I am. How are you going to do that when this building is on lockdown? There is an emergency exit vault that is in the basement here. You and Leo can go find the creator of the virus. Me and Rosie will stay here and take care of the satellite. Impact with satellite in one minute. Have you came up with an idea yet? If we put something between us and the satellite it will lessen the impact so we don't die. So one of us will have to go outside and get hit by the satellite. But who? No. I hate you people. If you're just joining us, a creator of a virus has tied the new station up with rope and is about to access the giant satellite dish on the roof of this building to beam down his sentient virus. It's gonna take a miracle to stop him. Sorry to interrupt your news. We are looking for the creator of the virus. I'm over here. Excuse me, sir, but we got a cyborg to take down. Hey, before this goes TVMA, we're gonna do you a solid and give you a chance to just give up. Yeah, there's really no reason this has to get violent. You're right. I'm ready to turn myself in to a fight machine. Absolutely sick twist. Okay, now it's time to get violent. You know what? I have superpowers. Bring it on you stupid satellite. Uh, ah. Ha, that could have been way worse. Oh dear. Direct hit baby. Wish we could grab the satellite and smash it over his face some more. Yeah, it couldn't hurt us. Is that what I think it is? It's the guy infected with the evil virus. I am virus. See? Rosie, don't let him hit you or you'll get infected. Didn't Kayla and Leo fight these guys? I really think we should call him. We don't need Kalu. Stand back and let me handle this. I did not get possessed just to let this walking virus take me out. <laughs> Your
You're gonna need better aim than that. Uh, guys. No, that's pretty good aim. At least I'm kind of warm now. Hey, Rosie, say something. I am virus. Don't look down, it will just freak you out. Where you take him? Ah, uh, he'll be back. That's what I call breaking news. We lost. Welcome back, kiddies. Don't, Don't give up. Keep, keep fighting. fighting. Who is that? You, you know, know who I, I am. You, you can't, can't give up. up. No, 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 don't leave. Keep, keep fighting. fighting. No, don't leave. Keep, keep fighting. fighting. No. Did not see that coming. Uh, where am I? You are asking the wrong guy. But where's everyone? This is bad. Yeah, it's not good. All the bad guys are gone so we're down two people. What do we do now? We call for backup. This is a breaking news report and it just took place right here in our studio. I was knocked unconscious, but our cameras were rolling so we can show you exactly what happened. The person who created the virus saw that Rosie had blasted his living viruses into oblivion and said I'm gonna miss those viruses. He left two mysterious notes, one for Boris, and another one on the villain's hand. Meet. On. Top. Of. Then he drags Rosie and Leo right out of here. The villain woke up, read the note on his hand, and ran away. When I finally woke up, everyone was gone. That's right, gone. We have an emergency here. We gotta go find Leo and my sister. Blue Tecton isn't answering his phone. Kalu, you try and call him. Hey, what's up, buddy? Leo, are you okay? Yeah, what's on your neck? What's on yours? And by the way, where are we? On top of Nakatomi Tower. Feel free to leave, but it's a 500 foot fall, so you might want to stay away from the edge. Well, I am the one who fights. Are you done? What are we even doing here, Trent? Waiting for a friend. And there he is. Did you just climb up the side of the building? I see you got my note. You used me as a distraction and turned me into a virus. Give me one reason why I should intend you right now. My infectious charm? I know what you really want. I can give you revenge on Galu, Boris, and anyone else who gets in our way. Explain. My guess. And it's a good one. Because I'm, well, me, is that Boris woke up at the news station, saw that those two were missing, panicked and called one of the superheroes to come over. I bet they're at his house right now. Hey guys, hey, what's up? Too busy to take my calls? I was stopping a meteor from hitting Earth. Oh, but you weren't when Kalu called. That's are we interesting. Really gonna do this what right are we now? doing? You do oh, this do every do? time. Oh, it's yeah, let's healthy talk communication. I can't even talk oh, to you. you. And you can't talk to me. All right. Blue Tech, no. Can you agree to take my dad's calls? Unless you're in a life or death emergency. I can agree to that. Okay, and dad. Can you agree that Blue Techno has his own life and that his boundaries are not an attack on you? I always pick up when he calls. Come See? on. And he doesn't call very often just putting that out there. I'm just going to go find my sister. Anyone who wants to help can come on. I'm just gonna travel across the world into life. Hey she's calling me right now. Oh you pick up when she calls that's refreshing. What's up, Rosie? So what's this thing you're building? 
something to call down more of your viruses? No, I think that one killed the last of my viruses. Sorry? It's okay, now that I've wirelessly upgraded myself to a cyborg I can upgrade my plan. Hey, I think I know why Rosie called. Oops, dude stop. Okay, that was Blue Techno using his boundaries to attack me. Blue Techno, would you care to respond to Boris's feelings? Those weren't my boundaries, dude. That was my force field and I think Rosie called me so we could listen in on Trent's plan. So tell us your plan, Trent. Will you let me in? Will you be cool? I don't think he's ready to be cool. And then I thought, I'll absorb all of the world's power. I'm a human-computer hybrid so I can absorb and control the Earth itself. Once I control the Earth I can control machines, factories, aircraft carriers, ports, cities and countries. You'd be able to run the world. Right from this location. I doubt it. I need a little bit more power to maintain the optimum algorithmic computations but if I can get my hands on this chip then I can rule the world. So you need someone to go find this chip and bring it to you. Smart guy. If I get you this chip, you'll get me blue techno, cyborgs promise. Deal. <laughs> still alive, and still evil. Kalu will make it look like an accident then. We surprise him when he crawls out of the rubble. And when we do, we take him down and make us tell him where Rosie and Leo are. Guys, this feels like a trap. Now, it's too easy, I mean Trent probably knew we were listening the whole time. I say go, I say go, I say trap. You are getting slow old man. Boom, felt good. You wanna kick him or something? No, I can't do that. He's already on the ground. Sure you can. Watch. So it was a trap. But why is Rosie all evil now? Boss says bring this one back. This wasn't part of the deal Trent, you said that I could get revenge on Blue Tech, no, that ain't it. Ooh, sounds like you guys got a lot of stuff to work through. Can I recommend Kalu? He helped me and Boris unpack some stuff we're in a really good place now. You'll get him soon enough. Poor Techno just has something I need. A foot massage? A force field. Anybody want to become king of the world? Too bad you can't. Okay that actually looks a lot like revenge. Okay, here's the plan. We run the old Tennessee handbone with Aloha Twist. Are you ready? Yeah yeah. Quick question though. What? Do you know that they can see us? Okay that is new information. Please don't hurt me. Wow, I did not think that would work. Hey buddy, hang on. Okay, this should reset them. Yo, I'm looking fresh, dude. 
I could use a hand here. You got it, Blue Techno. Let him go rant. We said, let him go. This is gonna hurt. Wait, wait, I'm back. Oh, what? Did I miss it? A but little bit. Fracked. Yeah. Well, what should we do now? Dad, can you agree that Blue Techno has his own life and that his boundaries are not an attack on you? I can agree to that. So what are you gonna do now, Blue Techno? I'll be heading back to my city. I have to make sure the world stays safe. See you around. I hope you all aren't busy, because I got a mission for you. Yes? Yeah? Are we fighting the villain, and trend again? Are aliens attacking the city? Nope, you're helping your mom with the family reunion. Wait, which one of us are going? All of you. All of us? That's right, a nice little safe mission where you won't almost die. See you in three days. I'll say it, I don't feel comfortable leaving you alone in here for three days. What? Yeah, you can take care of yourself on your own. We could hire a babysitter. For three days, that's pretty expensive. Hey, 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 I'm pretty capable of taking care of myself. Oh, really? If you look off into the distance, I think you'll remember what happened last time we left you alone here. Gah, somebody help me. My head is stuck. None of that was my fault. Anyway, I should be fine. I removed all of the toilets in this house. Okay look, even if you don't get your head stuck in a toilet, you're still gonna need one of us to hang back. Hey I helped raise the two of you without anybody's help. Except mom. Listen, I'm a grown up, I'll be fine, now go. Alright. And in the meantime, I'm gonna prove to y'all that I don't need you. It doesn't count if you call Blue Tech no. I won't call him because I don't need him. How did this even happen? Hey clones, any of you replicants wanna help me? Yay! Aw oh, this is nice. Kalu's fixing my outfit out here. Clone Leo has prepared me a nutritious meal, and Clone Rosie is taking care of the plants. I don't know why, but I feel there's something off about you three. Whatever do you mean? See, like that, right there. Regular Leo would never say something like that, see these clones are not like their originals. You got a problem with us? Bub? No ma'am. Boris, your food is getting cold. Clones, why don't you go to Donut Puree and get yourself something to eat? Just let me grab my wallet. No that's okay. So nice of you to offer. Yes our current financial situation is sufficiently liquid for such occasion. Ah uh, and make sure to bring me back something. Get it yourself. Every morning. Every evening. Ain't we got fun? Not a money. Oh, but honey. Ain't we got fun? The ransom paid. Dear. We haven't a fuss. But smiles are made, dear. For people like us in the winter no in the summer don't we got fun times are bombing getting bomber take it away tiny boris nice pipes tiny boris there's nothing truer the rich get rich and the poor get poorer in the meantime in between time. 
Ain't we got fun? Multiple witnesses reported seeing a crazy pantsless man running through the streets yelling come back. In other news a group of unknown but evil people stole a bunch of money last night at Donut Puree. That's odd. The clone kids were at Donut Puree yesterday. Hey there you are, did you happen to see who stole money from Donut Puree? No. Huh, and uh where you get all that money? Found, Found it. it. Stand back, we're about to blow this open. Okay gather around clones, I think it's time we have a little talk about taking things that don't belong. Oh my god will you shut up. Alright what's going on here? Are you unable to assess the situation with competent comprehension? We are simply securing others for the query holdings while preparing to unsup your authority in a coup d'etat. Totally understood what those big words meant but maybe you should explain it for everybody else. Uh, does the Papa not understand? Alright you know what I think it's time I deactivate you clones. It's too late now. Oh please, I bought you into this house and I will take you back out. Get back here. I just stole us some baby backs baby. Yeah look at you. Next up. Boris family photos. Ga come on, let me out of here. Hey, hey, look, I'm sorry alright. We can work this out, just whatever you do. Please don't call Kalu Rosie and Leo. Calling Caillou Rosie and Leo. No 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 no. Hey dad, you calling cause you need us? Ha 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 no. In fact I was calling to tell you that I don't need you. We're on our way back man. What? Yeah it turned out our family is still in a fight from last year's family reunion. Everyone hates each other. Anyway we should be back any minute. Later. Hi is this the new station 4? Yes but I'm on the news right now so I only have a few minutes. Oh I just wanted to let you know that the ice cream man is outside. The ice cream man. Think Boris think, you're the smartest guy alive, there's gotta be a way out, I got it. Thanks for getting the door. Why are there clones of me, Rosie and Leah throwing a party? Long story, but it's time that I introduce the three of them to my fist. You know you're going to need me, Rosie and Leo. Okay whatever. Sup Boris. What do you want dad? Okay I'm not sure how this happened but a bunch of clones invaded our house and they stole a bunch of stuff and locked me in a room so when are you two getting here? We're here. We're so happy you needed us. Look if you guys are gonna be like that you can just leave okay? No 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 no. We wanna help it's just nice to be needed. Okay so there is a sleep button for the clones somewhere in the living room. But we will have to get past the three of them to press it. But how will we get past the three of them? I have a plan. Hey, how did you get out of the clone room? Clones, destroy him. Ha 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 ha, ooh look at you. Whoever makes him cry wins. That was the light switch Leo. Sorry, can't believe I was a clone from him. Turn them off. What should we do with them? Put their body on spikes as a warning to any other clones that wanna go rogue. No. no. Why don't you all go take my self-driving car out for a spin? Dibs on driving. Did you do da 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 do da do? Scada do da do da da. Skodab dab skodab dab. A, your appetites be as big as me beard. Ah, shiver me timbers, this is some good food, big beard. I'm so full, I couldn't eat another bite. Tis a shame, me daughter, lilt be on the way with some of our famous shrimps and a sword. Oh, well, you didn't let me finish, I couldn't eat another bite unless it's served on a sword.
Order up everyone. Thank yeah. Thank you. Kalu, you. Nope. Me first time most important. Okay, um, Caillou, you can fight these shrimp to your belly. That's not how I consume food but thank you. Rosie, I think you will find this gingerly tasty. Yay, wordplay, fun. And last but not least, Leo. The boy who storms my brain, daily. I was, kinda, wanting some wordplay. So are you officially official with anybody online? No but I am officially thirsty. I'm thirsty, too. I mean uh, I'll go get you a draft water you beautiful dodo. Careful, careful. No. My bad Boris. I'm trying out different instruments to see if I'm musically inclined. Well I'm inclined to say that you're not. Dad, how does this sound? This has been Rosie, and remember, you can't spell community without unity. That was pretty good Rosie, but hey how does this sound? This is your father asking, what are you talking about? I got selected to be a young leader of tomorrow retreat. You know if I can impress her, I might get to serve on her neighborhood youth council. Oh, you are definitely gonna impress her. Now I didn't get in last year but, I got in this year, like you always say dad, never give up. I said that? I'm awesome. Hey dad, how does this sound? This, has been Caillou, and remember, you can't spell Caillou without, C-A-I-L-L-O-U. Seriously? I didn't know the two of you were signing up for the retreat. Not at all, Caillou you can't sign up. Uh, me? You can't sign up, I'm signing up for the Neighborhood Youth Council. Why are you signing up? I want to make a difference in this world. Well I want to do it for the attention. I don't understand why the two of you can't sign up, I miss having 14 year old problems. Caillou don't sign up. How about you don't sign up? Are, are you, you kidding, kidding me? me? I can't believe I'm stuck doing the neighborhood council with you, this is a nightmare. Yeah, a nightmare for me. I said nightmare first. You don't own nightmare. Hey Caillou, why are you so mad? I'm so sick of Rosie doing everything I do, signing up for everything I sign up for, saying everything I say. Kalu, Kalu, Kalu. Are you okay? What happened? I don't know, it was really worried. I think I'm better at sculpting than I am at painting. Neil. My bad Boris. Whatever. Whatever. And now what are you two arguing about? The owner neighborhood girl chose us both to host the commentary. Because we're brother and sister. I don't understand what you two are fighting about. Honestly, this is the most you've ever been in sync. That's, That's what, what we're fighting, fighting about. about. Well, I think you guys are lucky to be like each other. But we're not, we're individuals. Yeah, we're different people with different ideas. Well then you should respect each other's ideas, okay? Alright now what do you want for dinner? Spanakopita. Not you Venus de Milo Destroyer. Pizza. Pizza. Pork, Pork chops, chops with string beans, beans and applesauce. Spanakopita, you, you don't, don't even know, know what Spanakopita is. Caillou. Caillou? The same thing happened outside today. Leo how long was he stuck earlier? Not this long. Maybe we should throw water in his face. Rosie calm down alright, that only happens in movies. Don't worry, I know somebody that can help, he has seen something like this in his life. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Interesting. Fascinating. Intriguing. We have tried every single thing known in existence to snap him out of it, nothing works. Have you tried throwing water in his face? No, cause apparently that only happens in movies. What's going on? Hello, my name is Dr. Nitsky. Well I'd like to run some tests, and get to the bottom of what's causing you to glitch Caillou. 
By using this VR Activator 4.0, we can scan your brain waves that checks if there are any problems. Is it gonna hurt? Ever been stung in the head by a thousand bees? What? Don't worry, I'm joking. That's weird, nothing's happening. What happened exactly before Caillou froze? The two of them were fighting. There's a theory that suggests the two of them are connected on a deeper level than most siblings. Well this did not work at all. Well what do you say we get out of here? Rosie we are here to help your brother. Yeah, I have a condition Rosie. Did you say you need attention? Okay alright, it's been a long day. Dr. Knightsky can we maybe pick this up again tomorrow morning? No dad I can't. We're live streaming my very first speech for the neighbor council group. Um, our first segment, and it's gonna be on skateboard stunts. Actually I only need to see Caillou. No. Yes. Wait a second, so you don't need Rosie? No, we can gather her data remotely, she'll just have to wear a mobile device, you won't even know you're wearing it. Are you really gonna wear that for your first commentary? No, I'm gonna take it off. Do my commentary then put it back on. Dr. Nitsky will never even know. Please put the helmet back on. Please put the helmet back on. Leo, what do I do? Uh, put the helmet back on. Welcome to the Neighborhood Council Group Commentary with me, Rosie. Caillou is out sick, so lucky for you, I'll be your solo host today. Now I know you may be wondering why I'm wearing this helmet, because my topic today is, skateboarding. Skateboarding? I've combined safety and fashion with this cute helmet. I can't believe she stole my topic, and look, she is even pointing her arm out like me. What's wrong with Rosie? Oh, I must have activated the limbulator, since their brain waves are connected mobily through the helmet. It's causing Rosie to simulate the movement of Caillou. Ha 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 oh I mean shut it off. Now, it's time to embarrass Rosie. Um anyway, skateboard safety is a very serious subject, which apparently makes me want to dance. Can we cut to commercial? There aren't any commercials. You made me embarrass myself in front of everyone. You stole my skateboarding segment. Only because I have to wear this dumb helmet because of your condition. It is a condition. It's attention. Condition. Attention. Condition. Hold up, we're finally seeing some energy, more arguing. No problem, I dislike you you, you skateboard segment stealing. Caillou? Uh oh he's frozen again. This can only mean one thing, Kalo and Rosie arguing is causing a viscosity in Kalo's mind which manifests itself as a cationic mid-freeze condition. I don't know what you said but can you cure my son? Yes, all I have to do is clean out his memory. Oh well, only temporarily, right doc? Well, there's a small chance he will get them back, but I should warn you, if we don't there's a possibility he'll be stuck like this forever. Is there any way to fix this without having to remove his memory? I'm afraid there isn't. But don't worry, my associate Dr. Jasmine will oversee the procedure. She's the best in the field. Here she comes now. No way, your mom got a new car? Does it have a sunroof? It does? Oh my gosh, when you open it can you see the sky? You can? Oh I have to go, I have a patient. Hello, I'm Dr. Jasmine. Hello, can you fix my son? Interesting. Fascinating. Intriguing. She's also my granddaughter. I concur with your initial diagnosis, doctor. Hey, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm really sorry for all of our fighting. I promised I'll try really hard not to always argue but just please, wake up and, be you. My children love each other, they do. What should we do now? I don't know but I'm starving. Anybody want to order some big beards? Dude, my brother is gonna lose his memory. Of course I want big beards. Mark for delivery. It would tickle the tips of me beard hairs to bring you some food. Okay.
One Kalu, Leo, Boris, and Rosie special coming up. But we also want a big box of fish biscuits, in order of lobster thermometer which, obviously dates back to the French Revolution. And finally, one clam, just one, we all split it. Hello? You still there? Guys I think he hung up on me. There could be any fix to this problem. Could Kalu be cursed because one of us offended a witch? Oh, see, now that makes a lot of sense. No, guys I seriously doubt it's a witch. Hold on I figured it out. Oh you found a vengeful witch. It's not a witch. What is it dad? This movie will explain everything. I hope it's Shrek, that donkey is so funny. Hey, this may be our last chance to watch a movie with Kalu so, let's all just quiet down and watch this movie together. Lights off. Oh hello there, you caught me sciencing. I'd like to talk to you about a sensitive but serious issue, brain freezing. Yeah I'm at to. Wait 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 don't leave. I'm scared of the dark. Having this happen to you can be strange, to reverse the effect. Try swimming in a lake near a nuclear power plant. You're well, awesome that was a waste so of time. Say, does anyone else have anything they want to tell Kalo before I turn on the old fun stick? Uh, no. Okay. Wait. Are you okay? Did it wipe your memory? I don't think so. Did it wipe yours? I'm okay, I know I am. Are you okay? I'm okay. Oh, what a relief. But who are you people? And who am I? There's a microscopic navigational capsule in the middle of the floor. In the middle of where now? It's on the floor. It's just too small for you to see. Back up everyone. Dad, watch out. Dr. Nightski, tell us how to unbreak my dad's brain. We need to reset it, then we'll get it back. How do we reset someone's brain? Yeah, is there like an on-off switch somewhere? Yes, on his hippocampus. Now, we need someone to enter this capsule, get shrunk down and inject it into Boris's head, then pilot the capsule into his brain and deliver an extremely high voltage electrical shock, directly onto his hippocampus. Youch, I'd hate to be this Boris guy. Let's shrink this pod and get into Dad's bod. Leo, is Boris secured? He's good. In three, two, one. Kalo, can you hear me? Uh, yeah? Oh my god it worked. I can't believe it worked. What do you mean you can't believe it worked? There is a 5% chance that it would work. 10 people found that out the hard way. Whoa. Have you never done this before? With a human? With anything? Oh, no I have not. Hey is everything good out there? Yeah, yeah. No one's surprised you're alive. I am. What? Nothing. We're going to put you inside Boris's head now. Hey Boris, just gonna put a little drop of water. What's that? I don't want that. I don't know what that is. Hey, look at the guy on my phone. Well. Hello handsome. Okay Caillou. In 20 seconds you have to press the pink button. Countdown. Starting. Now. Okay. Where's the pink button? It's on the table in front of you. This is where somebody messed up at. Dude. They're all pink. One is salmon. One is bubblegum. One is flamingo. <laughs> Running out of time here? Hit the pink button now. Which one is pink? Tell me where pick a corner left, right or done or. It's this one. That's pink. Rosie? Ugh, why are boys so bad with colors? Am I right, Jasmine? What are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? As you can see I snuck in here. This ship is bananas. Um, guys. You're at the hippocampus. Emergency stop. You have arrived at your 
destination. How did you know how to? I know what an emergency brake is. What do we do now, Dr. Nitsky? Okay, you have to arm the electrical pulse inducer before you set it. Okay, how do we do that? Press the light blue button on your left hand side. Are you kidding me right now? That's Summer Sky. Swiss Ocean. There you go. There are no oceans in Switzerland who even comes up with these names. We're armed. No, I could stare at you all day. Oops. Okay, the charge is set. Great, now you have two minutes to get out of Boris's head before that charge goes off. Wait, what? Why do we have to get out in two minutes? Well, you don't have to. But if you don't get out of there before the electrical peel inducer goes off, the blast will short out the capsule and you'll be stuck in Boris's head. Forever? Well, no, I mean yes. Dude why didn't you just make a pulse inducer that detonates remotely? That's a great idea, I'll do that the next time someone's memory gets wiped. Whatever we're on our way, meet us at Boris's left ear. You should have plenty of time. Yeah you'll be fine, as long as nothing goes wrong. Come on, man. Oh, what's happening? I never thought I'd see you again. Dr. Nightski, there's a bunch of alarms going off and lights blinking. What color lights? Uh, Swiss sky, flamingo ocean, they're all blinking, Dr. Nightski. Don't worry, there's no need to panic. Uh, there's a tube hanging off the ship and leaking something all over the place. That's the fuel line. Is that bad? Well, no, I mean, yes, you can now panic. Dr. Nightski, there's got to be something we can do to fix this. Well, there is but you have to go outside the capsule and plug the fuel line back in. Okay, so how do we do that? First press the release emergency suit button, it's baby bunny pink. How many stupid colorful buttons are there? Found it. Uh, something's going on with Boris. Uh oh, the fuel must be leaking into his brain. I got this. Now Kalo, crawl outside the capsule. I'll go. No I have to go. Calm down Boris you're gonna kill Caillou and Rosie. Who is Boris? Caillou just let your sister go outside and fix the fuel line. No that's my job, I'm gonna risk my life by. Done. What? I fixed it, let's go. Did you seriously just fix that? How did you fix it so fast? Okay, I will control the capsule from here on out, hold on tight. Got it. Wait Rosie move there. Left. Right. Left right left right left right left right left right left right. Stop. They're in his ear. You have to get them out. How? Use this. What do I do with this? Shove it up his ear and suck them out. Dead, dead, day, ah, gah. Leo, Dr. Nightski, Dr. Jasmine. What happened to Caillou and Rosie? Hello. Get us out of here. They're, They're alive. alive. Guys, I think I know the cause to why Kalu's brain was affected by this. The cause would have to be a lobster marinated in red-eyed mudfish. Big Beards. Rosie. What? Big Beard is just a guy with a glorious beard and a daughter who likes to smell my hair. I say we go down to Big Beards with some duct tape and a duck. Come on, let's go. Uh, table four, two please. Leo, right this way. I'm so glad the two of you are back. Especially you, Leo. Now, it be hammer time. Not so fast, big beard. Uh-oh, Leo, something is going on in the kitchen.
Freeze, the both of you. Hold on, I was trying to stop him from poisoning people with his ingredients, he's the one you want. Is there be a problem officer? You're coming with me. Kalu, are you okay? Yeah, but we could never resolve my issue about me freezing up. The best thing you can do is try to not get in any fights with Rosie. But don't worry, we're in this together, we're family. Thanks dad. Kalu. What happened? I don't know about you, but I think our combined love fixed my issue where I would freeze. I am back. I'm actually back. Woo woo, my son is back. Ah, this is really nice. The three of us hanging out. I feel like we should do this a lot more often. Wait, we're all together? Where is dad? Disperse, disperse. Family meeting. This is what we get for trying to hang out. Alright, you all know the rules for family meeting. Keep your comments under 10 seconds or... <coughs> me and Leo's mom got a call that affects two of you. Let me explain. Leo, do you remember how excited we all were when your family won the lottery, and then you and Kalu took a trip to Hawaii? Hmm, the best day of my life? Yeah, no, I think I remember. Well, in all the excitement it seems we forgot a few things, the fact that you two didn't do your final project for 10th grade. Wait, what? You mean like we never finished 10th grade? Well, I just found out this morning. But it'll be fine because the school says you can complete the project now before the summer. Ha ha, classic, you both missed homework that's three years late. The teacher said that in order to pass the 10th grade you both have to finish the project in class. Ha ha, this day keeps getting better and better. Actually Rosie, Caillou and Leo have to go back to the 10th grade, in your class. What? what? Um, hi. We're the new kids. Don't mind us, we're just gonna try and fit in. Don't be shy, guys. Hey everybody, let's give brother and friend a proper 10th grade welcome. Well, two can play that game. Kalo and Leo. Hi Mrs. Snodgrass. Well I see you're still not mature enough for 10th grade. It's not what it looks like. It's never what it looks like with you. Go take a seat. Oh Rosie, thank you so much for saving me. Sorry bro but you've dug yourself a pretty deep hole, I'm gonna need to keep my reputation. See you've all had the chance to meet our newest students, Kalo and Leo. They're two people who thought leaving high school before finishing their academic commitments was more important. Actually, about that. Kalo you did not raise your hand. This week is Group Projects Week. Each group will perform part of a classic Shakespeare play. Ooh, I love Shakespeare. You also love talking while not being called on. Perhaps K. Lu could benefit from a trip to the Attitude Adjustment Chair. Alright students, pick your partners for the group project. I'll take the new kids. Alright Kalo and Leo, you can be with Rosie. Thank you, Mrs. Snotgrass. What did you just call me? I have no one to blame but myself. So, how was your first day of 10th grade? It was really good. I told everyone how to be a proper gamer, everyone wanted to be my friend and at the end of the day everyone told me goodbye. That didn't happen. Yes it did. Alright let's see, Rosie, and Kalo, you're up. We hope you enjoy Romeo and Juliet. By the way I designed the costumes so I'm getting credit. Oh Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? With loves like twins did I or perch these walls? A thousand times good night. A thousand times the worse, to want thy light. Good night, good night, parting is such sweet sorrow. 
that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Guys, that was exceptional. I'm giving the group an F. What? what? The point of a group exercise is for the entire group to work on the presentation as a group. Leo didn't do anything. Who do you think opened the curtains? I'm sorry. All my grades are final. Come on. That isn't Don't be fair. An L. Fine. But there is one more thing. You gotta beat me in arm wrestling. You've got this, Kalu. Heck yeah, I got this. She's got them weak administrator arms. Yeah, but I use a weighted pen. Someone call it. One, two, three, four. I declare an arm war. Come on, Kylie, you got this. I believe in you. Ah, that sunlight. So, did we pass? Yep. Congratulations, guys. It's been fun watching you go through 10th grade, twice. I am so glad to be done with the project, and I guess I really don't need this Shakespearean hat anymore. Here. Looky here. Hey, nice hat. Do you like Shakespeare? Yeah, of course. Because I'm really into guys who like Shakespeare. Heard of Romeo? Cause they call me ye ye yo. Let's talk about it, my lady. Okay, which one of you touched my carbon activated French volumizing hair dryer cause I have told you? Shush. Shush. We're watching genuine moments. What's that? Uh, only the best new show on TV. Every episode has a bunch of super heartfelt genuine moments. Ha, huh, sounds stupid. You know what Jennifer? I don't want to be your boyfriend anymore. I want to be your husband. Ah, uh, genuine, genuine moments. moments. Okay this is actually pretty good. Right, even Caillou likes genuine moments. No, I don't like it. I love it. Ah, uh, genuine, genuine moments. moments. Looks like I got a call from someone at the top of Nakatomi Tower. We gotta go check it out. Okay, guys, now remember, it's probably not aliens, but just in case, make sure. Oh, an alien. No, Boris, it's me, the commissioner. Oh. He doesn't look like an alien. It's worse, it's the city's new police commissioner. I've been dodging this guy's calls for weeks. Well, do not blame it on us like you usually do. Good idea. No. Hey, buddy. Hey, I've been trying to call you for weeks. Haven't you gotten any of my voicemails? Rosie lost my phone. Every time. This guy. Ah, uh, no biggie, my guy. So what do you want the commissioner? Wait, your name is the commissioner. Sure, though you could always call me by my real name, Melvert Korthenschitz. So what do you want the commissioner? A horrifically evil criminal just arrived in this town. We call him, Jack the Scribbler, because he scribbles on people's foreheads without them knowing. Come on, it can't be that bad. Oh no? My eyes, my eyes. How tragic. So sad. I thought you said you lost your phone. I said Rosie lost it. Anyway this new villain seems more like a joke villain than scary. Well you may think it's funny now. Which I do. But Jack the Scribbler can strike any time, any forehead, including, yours. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I can't go that high so I'm just gonna start us over. Oh god. Don't worry the commissioner, we're gonna find Jack the Scribbler. Also I have one more question, would you mind? Dang it Malver, you came on too strong. Natalie Sophia, scribbled. Vice Mayor William, scribbled. Huh, we've been at this for minutes and we've made no progress. We could get one of those helmets that Leo has. What? Beautiful day outside. Hey they're talking about Jack the Scribbler on the news. We're about to conduct an interview with Regina Peacock, the first victim of Jack the Scribbler. Welcome to the news, Regina. We know this must be tough for you. But please, tell your story. 
and start it off with, once upon a time. Um, once upon a time, I was about to leave work when suddenly all of the lights went out and... The lights, they're out. It's happening again. Jack the Scribbler's there. We got to get down there and help them. You guys should go. No, you're coming with us. Is Jack the Scribbler still even here? No, but I think he left a note. Yeah? And it says, I'm coming for you. Oh no, we're gonna look like him. That wasn't nice at all. Have you guys still not fixed that hole in the ceiling from when Trent landed on the roof of this building? There's a light in the sky. Actually that's just the moon. Again no, it's the commissioner. Maybe he has a lead for us, let's go. Huh, do we have to? Would you rather wait for Jack the Scribbler to return and permanently ruin your forehead? Come on, everyone, let's go. Boris. Why'd you call us up here? Because I was starving, cold, and alone up here by myself since you left. So I was looking out across the city, and I saw a guy headed into Donut Puree and he had a bunch of markers. Whoa, cool. That's gotta be Jack the Scribbler. You guys go take him down and I'll you know, stay as far away from that guy as possible. Can't get much farther away than up here with your old pal the commissioner. Anyways let's go down there and... I'm still stuck up here. Jack out Jack over there. Just sitting around writing about all of his crimes. Yeah. Let's go Dan rough him up. Yeah, and then let's give him some bangs. Okay, that was a good one, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. What? Something about this doesn't feel right. Everyone in here was scribbled on and that guy has a pen it's a perfect fit. A little too perfect. There's only one thing in this world that's a little too perfect and it's me. You're overthinking this. Listen. We didn't even hear the girl on the news full story, all we heard was once upon a time. That's how you know a story is gonna be good. I think we should go talk to her, maybe she can give us a clue. Fine, you go have tea with her while we handle the real bad guy, but when we're on the news later being hailed as the heroes of this city, we're not gonna mention you, at all. Kalu. What a pleasant surprise. Hey Regina, I have some questions for you. Have a few minutes? Why of course, come on in. Forgive my mess, I just moved in. Bad timing. Seems like you and Jack the Scribbler came into town at like, the exact same time. Yes, I'm lucky. So I'm going to ask you some questions from when Jack attacked you. Why of course, Alexa, turn off the music. Turning off music. So, what happened when Jack the Scribbler attacked you? Well, once upon a time, I was about to leave work when suddenly, all of the lights went out. When the lights came back on, I was stuck with this awful scribble. Cool. Is this a left-handed guitar? Yep, I'm a lefty. Interesting. You know who else was left-handed? Jimi Hendrix? Genius with a guitar. Yay? Anyway, did you get a good look at your attacker? Yes, he can strike at any unknown moment. Wait, is this you, graduating high school, with the same scribble you have now? Yes, uh, because Jack the Scribbler also attacked me many years ago? Well that doesn't make sense. Unless... You're Jack the Scribbler. No, I'm Regina, the Clipper. Alexa? Turn off the lights. Turning off lights. Alexa, turn on the lights. She's only programmed to respond to my voice. Alexa, it's me Regina. I'm left-handed. Turn on the lights. That's a terrible impression. It's not that. But no. If I have to live with a bad haircut, so does everybody including you. Hey guys, we really should be looking for Jack the Scribbler. Shush. Yes, after genuine moments, that's what I meant. Jennifer, I can't marry you without your mother present, so I flew her into town. Ah, uh, genuine, genuine moments. moments. Where has this show been all my life? 
Guys. Shush. We're watching genuine moments. Jennifer, my dear daughter, I don't like this marriage, and I also don't love it. I super duper love it. And I super duper love you, mommy. Ah. Ah. It is an ah, not a nah. But why are you fighting that lady from the news? She's Jack the Scribbler. It's Regina the Scribbler. Chad, I'm sorry. I can't say I do, but I have one more thing to say. This moment is about to be so genuine. No. You monster. For spinning now this, what is wrong with you? Ha ha. It's not so easy to take out Regina the... I can finally take this helmet off. It's been 48 straight hours. What? You might want to leave that helmet back on. Hey look, another spotlight. Oh that cry for help. That's been out there for a couple hours. Why didn't you say anything? Because I don't like the commissioner. Okay, let's go. Thank God you finally answered. What do you want the commissioner? I just wanted to tell you Boris, that I don't want to be your friend anymore. Oh, thank God. I want to be your best friend. Ah. Uh, genuine moments. Hey do you want to build a fort? Uh, not really, I have to go. Looks like we're stuck up here, but at least we got each other. How about a hug? Well, guess I have no other choice. I'm okay. Aw, oh, my Prius. The final piece of our epic build O. Oh, may this testament and teamwork stand forever into the ages of ages. Guys, we all have to run. Is there an angry bear coming? I wish, an angry Boris. What's he all angry about now? He's not angry yet but he's going to be when I tell him some really bad news. The nominations for the tellies came out today. The tellies are the annual awards show for Heroes Who Saved the City, and Dad isn't nominated for anything, again. Not even for most likely to refer to himself as hot for absolutely no reason? Nope, last year when I told him he wasn't nominated he destroyed the whole house. Hey kids, best day ever found a whole box of perfectly good donuts in an alley behind donut puree. Why is everyone looking so shocked? Dad, I have some bad news. I... Wow, he really did get mad. All I said was I had bad news. Yeah, you didn't even get a chance to tell him he wasn't nominated for a telly again. Dad, stop it. It's Ugh. not that big of a deal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I shouldn't have got that upset. It's just a stupid award show. Hey, check it out. The three of us were nominated. The three of you are nominated. It says we're nominated for Best Heroes. Oh, and check out the telly's ballroom. You know, uh, in a way, that just shows what a great job I do at raising children. So when you think about it, your nomination is like my nomination. Yeah, but in a more accurate way it's just ours. Tonight the bad guys win, not on this guy's watch. I think this is the best we've ever looked. I'm actually handsome for once. Well, while you guys are down at the tellies, I'm gonna go down to the villain party and do some actual fighting. Yeah, we thought something like this might happen. You'd find some random bad guys to punch out your feelings. And we'd have to bail on the award show, and come and save you. So we decided to get you a babysitter. But don't worry, they don't actually sit on you. Look, I'm going out tonight, okay? And there's nobody on this planet that's gonna stop me. Did somebody call for a babysitter? Blue Tech Ton, what's up my guy? Blue Tech No can't be my babysitter. Don't worry dude I'm not gonna actually sit on you told you. Make sure he doesn't leave. He won't. And make sure he doesn't think of some ways to escape. Have fun. Make sure to eat your broccoli bars. Alright, 
Why don't we start by cleaning up this house, and then it's homework time. This house isn't even messy and you can drop the whole babysitter act, okay? This isn't an act my guy. I took an oath to the kids to not let you leave and to make sure you eat all your broccoli. Look I'm going down to the beaten dungeon alright, and no one is gonna stop me. <laughs> I'm gonna report you to the babysitter's union. I knew Grand Theft Auto was about stealing cars but I did not know that the cars were the thief. When can I play? As soon as you finish that broccoli big dog. Huh. <laughs> and make sure you finish those trunks too, it's where the vitamins hide. Blue Tecton, I was in the kitchen and I saw a bug on the wall, you have to kill it for me. I got it. Boris Clone, come in. Now while I sneak to the beating dungeon, don't say anything. Man that bug was juicy. Here give me the game back. What the heck? Attention heroes, the telly's awards will begin in just a few minutes. Check it out, Kalu, Rosie and Leo are here. Yo. What's good yo? My name is Kiki. Well here they call me kitten, I'm not really feeling this whole society sip your tea proper type situation. Really? Your accent didn't give that away at all. I got four gene rays up in here you feel me. We got my moms, my grandmoms, my great grandmoms we call her mom moms. Isn't that technically your mom moms mum? Hello, I am the skipper, anybody want cake? That's what I'm talking about. I'll be back with the plates. Hey I thought Blue Techno was supposed to be back at the house. He is. Then why is he right there? Hey kids, don't worry about the fact that I'm here but qu question, have you seen Boris? Ugh, you lost him already? I didn't lose him I just, I went to go kill a bug and then a clone of his was there and so I guess in the process I lost him. Oh my god you lost my dad already? Did you at least get him to eat his broccoli? Everything but the trunk. Oh That's my god. The vitamins hide. I'm sorry, I came here looking for him but I don't see him. Oh, I know where he went. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. No. The Tailies. Stop. He went to the beaten dungeon. What's going on here? The Villies. It's our version of the Tailies. Tonight, the bad guys win. And now, it's time to honor someone who has made us the best villains we can be, Boris. Boris's excellence has inspired us all to be more powerful villains and even worse people, and because of that, tonight we award him this lifetime achievement villi. Sadly he's not here so we are going to skip him, now I I'm like here, I'm here. Well I was not expecting this, if I'm being honest I came here tonight to punch my way out of my feelings so I felt good enough to win a tally, but, uh wait, um. You had one job, one. Yeah I'm going to come clean I've never babysitted before in my life. You laid on your resume. I also never went to Harvard. Look we can figure this out later but now we have to call him. Hello? Help, it's Boris and I'm tied up. Oh no. With important business so I can't come to the phone. Gotcha, leave a message. Ugh, his outgoing messages are the worst. Oh shoot it's still recording. I should probably call Kalu, Rosie and Leo to let them know that I captured you. Dad? Hello. Oh uh, hey guys. I don't know how things are working out for you but um, this guy just got an award. I guess he doesn't need our help after all. I definitely do not need help so don't come help me. We should go help him. They're gonna announce our category any minute. The best superhero category will be announced any minute. As heroes we should go help him, if we don't help him how can we accept the award for best heroes? Um, with our hands? Alright. But we'll have to move fast.
Blue Tech no, you coming? Yeah but you think I could get that girl's number real quick. Sure, we'll save a couple of bad guys for you. So uh, do you like guys in bands? Sorry, I only date superheroes. Well uh, it looks like you took a turn down Lucky Street, because I actually am a superhero, so yeah. You just look like a guy. Like a cute guy? The tallies are for superheroes only. I'll get security. Kayla, Rosie and Leo are pretty solid people. They got this. I told you not to help me. I forgot. I can use my force field to break out of this chair. Blue Techno will be here any minute. Who the heck is Blue Techno? What's up dude? I'm Blue Techno. Everybody break your chairs. Okay, now let's get back to the tallies in time to win our award. And the winner for Best Heroes is... We're just in time. Kitten and Kendra? We are lost. Maybe that's okay. Maybe being a hero isn't about trophies and recognition. It's about the good we can do for our world. It's about doing the right thing. Yeah, that's my girl. I mean, good speech. Yo Kitten, I'm gonna let you finish. But first I just want to say that Kayla, Rosie and Leo were the best heroes to be friends with. Second best. You know the three of them almost missed this stupid award show so they could come rescue me tonight. So I'm accepting this thing on their behalf. Should we go stop him, or? Or we should go play some Grand Theft Auto. Is that the game where the horse is a thief? Oh, uh, heck yeah. Let's go. Alright dad, thanks for helping me figure out a new hero catchphrase. How about, you just got saved, to the Caillou. Nice. Oh you like it, I'm taking that off the list. Hey, stop what you're doing, we have a problem. Look, they ranked all of the heroes in this city. Look how far down they put Leo. How is Leo so far down? He's helped us a countless of amount of times. He's in last place because he's never done a mission without our help before. Well how is he going to do that when he isn't as good in combat as us? I don't know, we're gonna have to figure it out soon before people surpass him. Hey, I have an idea, Dad. Do you have a villain costume? Yeah. What for? Alright, Leo should be here any minute. So what is a big surprise? Hey. It is the evil villain, Captain Bore. Oh, I mean, Captain Evil. And I am here to make you pay for your good crimes. Hey, Boris. How did you know it was me? Same face, dumb costume and I've never met him but I'm pretty sure Captain Evil doesn't have the same hair as you. He might. Dad, what is this? It's what we talked about, Leo's hero experience. Well, who gave you total control of the planning? You did. You literally said take care of it, I don't want to do any of the work. Yeah that does sound like me. What do you mean my hero experience? You weren't ranked high on the hero list because you haven't stopped a villain on your own. And congratulations Leo you just completed your first hero deed. Stopping a villain from attacking. I'm going home. Wait, we brought you here to be a hero. So go ahead, knock Caillou on his butt. Really? I can take all my years of frustration out on Kalu. Yep, and you can take some of mine too. Can we even use a power patch to attack him with superpowers? Yes, let me demonstrate. Rosie, you were supposed to let him do it. Sorry, just kidding I'm not sorry. Alright, that's it. The number one step to capturing a villain is to catch them off guard. 
good one, but here is a better one. Alright, you asked for it. I thought you said this was about me. Not now Leo the grown ups are fighting. Uh oh. Looks like the cleaning crew is gonna be working overtime. Leo are you okay? No he's not okay, because you just attacked an innocent person. Well I was aiming for you so technically it's your fault for moving out the way. You're both to blame, now can someone do something about my leg it really hurts. Where the heck were you? No be there. This is lame, I wish I could stop villains by myself. Yeah, I wish there was a way to prove your loyalty of being a hero. Look at you thinking about someone other than yourself. I have to do it every once in a while to make the selfishness pop. I wish there was a way we could make you a hero, even if it was only for one day. What was that? Whoa, what is going on? Go back inside. No can do, this is my chance to become a hero. I told you it wasn't safe. Uh, I'm beginning to see your point. Hey, once he pulls out his laser bow, turn on the sprinklers. Not gonna lie Night Strike, this will sting. Looks like he got a jolt of justice. Looks like I failed to be a hero, once again. You did give me the idea to short out Night Strike's bow staff, so technically you are a hero. Wait, really? Congrats Leo, you are now officially one of us. I'll take Night Strike to Super Gal, and thanks for being a hero Leo. Oh, Kalu, Boris wants us to go into the kitchen and try out a smoothie recipe. A smoothie? Uh, I can't I have to take this call. Hello. Your phone didn't ring. I gotta go. Guys forget about the smoothie. I have much bigger problems to deal with. My revenue is down due to a recent drop in comic book sales. We have noticed that some of the issues have been pretty boring lately. Yeah. In his latest issue Blue Tech noted online traffic school. Well because of the lower sales I am being forced to sell some things in this house, luckily nothing major yet. I'm selling the downstairs TV by the way. You know, me and Leo have pretty creative minds. Let us help come up with ideas for the comic books, we can make them much better. Comic books aren't works of fiction, they're the superhero history books. But we saved the world a countless amount of times. Well I do have poor taste and judgment, so fine you can help. But you two are the one to blame if the sales go lower. Here we are, do you have any idea what's on the other side of this door? The superhero comic book department? That's right. You are about to witness the best room you've ever seen. Behold. This is it. One guy, one desk. I just got a desk last week. I used to have to work standing. Lucas's powers allow him to have super fast hand coordination creating 50 panels at once. Now I have to go finish that recipe. Lucas. It's an honor to be working with you. We hope some way we can make your comic books better. It's not my fault that crime is down and there's no action. Also since the Smasher got married his wife is not letting him do anything dangerous. I was wondering why he spent the whole last issue intriguing in Amish country. 
But can't we just exaggerate the facts a little to make them a little more interesting? Yeah, Kalu's dad is going to sell the TV and that's the only reason I come over his house. Well, I suppose we could exaggerate things a little. Hold on, I'm getting a vision, the Smasher is arguing with his wife. Yeah, this is a perfect start, but how about we change arguing to battling and wife to reptilian death beast? Oh, so you've met her. Boys, great work, comic book sales are way up, we're rolling in money now. At this rate, you can buy some bigger swim trunks that actually fits you. Hello. Dark Warrior, what happened? I was trying to stop the evil dreadlock from sabotaging the commuter railway. I threw him off the speeding loon motive and stopped the train from derailing but he blasted me. We can't let people read a comic book with the sending. Your whole image is about fear and intimidation. Wait, we can just convince Lucas to change the ending, that way we can save his reputation. Good idea. So, I have bad news. The bad news is there's no way I can battle for at least two more weeks. Ugh, but I have some good news. The latest issue of your comic book is out, and I tweaked the ending so that you threw Dreadlock off of a train. What? You can't do that. There will be ramifications, you can't just rewrite history. Dark Warrior, listen, you're missing the big picture, this is good for you. You so-called superheroes know me as Dreadlock, the Dark Warrior says he defeated me, I say he's a liar. Don't worry he can't prove it. Yes I can. What? I can hear you, this is a two-way broadcast, and to set the record straight, I challenge Dark Warrior to a battle on the roof of Nakatoim Tower at 8 o'clock tonight. Now what? I can barely walk. No big deal, just don't show up. I can still hear you. And if he doesn't show up, I'll destroy Independent Hall, and if any other superheroes show up to stop me, I'll take out the whole city. This is all your fault. You see what happens when you change history? I know, but on the bright side, if Dreadlock kills you we won't have to change the ending of that comic book. No wonder Dreadlock is so angry, you made him look totally weak. In hindsight writing, I want my mommy in his thought bubble may have been a mistake. There's only one way to prevent Dreadlock from wreaking havoc on the city. I need to go battle him tonight. You can't, you're too weak. And you're hooked up to a pain management machine. I don't need pain management, I'm the Dark Warrior. <coughs> okay, that machine was doing more than I thought. Wait, what if we find another superhero to get in your suit, and pretend to be you? Good idea, but one of you guys needs to get in my suit because no other superheroes will fit. Well, I'll be Dark Warrior then. It's 5 past 8 o'clock and Dreadlock's still not here. Maybe he caught one glimpse of me and dreaded for the hill. Oh there he is. The Dark Warrior, I didn't think you were man enough to show up. I am more than man enough. Kaylee your voice. I am more than man enough. taught me every skill he knew, and now those skills will be your undoing. You may have learned how to use those skills, but not why to use them, Dreadlock. You're not Dark Warrior, you're just a kid. And you're not Dreadlock. Fine, I'm not the evil Dreadlock, I'm just his assistant. Gob. Dreadlock came down with a stomach virus so he made me come in his place. If this flasco shows up in the comic books, Dreadlock will be humiliated and fire me. Like he'll literally light me on fire with his flamethrower, he is very evil. Then I think I know what to do. And then the Dark Warrior and Dreadlock tumble off of the rooftop into the inky night below to be continued. Fine, we'll go with your ending, 
but send sales are up, you think I could get a pencil sharpener, it's extremely dangerous doing it with this. Guess who I just got off the phone with? Coralie, Jules. Coralie Jules. The Coralie Jules. Who's Coralie Jules? She's a big Hollywood filmmaker, the one who made all of the killer zombie movies, and get this, her next blockbuster movie is gonna be about three kids and the movie will be called, Three, Action, Heroes. Awesome, what's it about? Three, Action, Heroes. Huh, save your money it sounds like a flop. And get this, it's based on you guys. But wait, how do you even know her? Coralie is an old college friend. We spent a lot of time in the robotics lab together before she switched careers. Don't tell your mom but we even dated a bit. What happened? Sometimes people just grow apart. She dumped you didn't she? Worst day of my life. Anyway she wants the film to portray you guys accurately, so she invited us to her own mansion to research with the actor that's playing you guys. I think you mean actors. No, in the film there aren't three action heroes. To simplify it, there's just one that inherits all three of your abilities in fighting. So who is it gonna be? It's a new up-and-comer named Jack West. So they're just gonna throw some rando in for the lead role? I don't want any part of this. I hate to say it but, I agree with Leo, if you only have one chance in your life to have a movie it should be done right. Exactly, so who's playing me? Andrew, The Rock? Oh who am I kidding? Those guys can't bring the Kalu. Oh son, you're so confused. Alright, now make sure you don't embarrass me, I need my best impression. You seem kinda nervous, if I didn't know any better I'd think you were trying to get your old girlfriend back. Haha, ha, that's ridiculous, how's my hair? Yikes I think you have a grey hair. Grey hair? Welcome, come on in. Well, look at this place. Hey Jack, it's nice to meet you. Thanks, I'm really happy to- Coralie. Boris, nice to see you, still rocking the same old hair huh? I can change, what do you like? Side part middle part, mullet? Hi, I'm Coralie, I'm so honored to be telling your story, and this is Jack West, the actor who will be playing you in the movie. Hi. What's up guys it's really nice to meet you. Thanks for coming over so we can do our research. I can't believe I'm actually standing near Kalu, Rosie and Leo. I'm not seeing anyone. Uh that's not normally what I lead with but, I'm not seeing anyone. Why hello Coralie, I'm Kalu, the most important member of the team. Of course, I know all about you Caillou. Then you must also know that my fascinating life would make a fantastic sequel. Jack, why don't you give Kalu, Rosie and Leo a tour? That'll give me and Coralie a chance to walk around and then after remember how adorable I am. We are gonna be walking for a very long time. So, you really think you have what it takes to be a hero? I hope so, I've been training really hard, check this out it's one of Leo's moves. It's Leo time. What was that? It was your move, hey don't worry, once they add some special effects it will look really cool. No, because you're doing it wrong. It goes like this. It's Leo time. Oh thanks man. I totally see how that's different. Now for your movie, you should give me the lead role. Kalu, would you please give this lovely woman her space? If you need someone to write the end of your script I am your man. That kid, he would do anything to impress you, you know, Coralie. It's too bad that you couldn't see all of the other dangerous villains we've defeated, you should make a movie just about Layla. Layla? Yep, the woman of all villains, believe it or not she is more powerful than Kalu Rosie and Leo combined. Well, where is she? I don't know, her creator was eliminated last year so the world may never find her again. Thanks for helping me out. Sure. I just wish Leo was as open about his abilities as you are. Don't take it personally, he's just really protective of his image. The truth is, I'm running out of time, I have to master his ability, if I don't Coralie is gonna fire me, I really don't wanna lose this role, 
Maybe I can help. What do you need? Stuff like a power patch that can give me powers. If that's all you need, I could give you the power patch. Thanks, Rosie. You're pretty. I know. So, now that we're done working, do you want to go hit the pool? Sounds great. I'll go change. Don't be too long. Mission accomplished. I have the power patch. Perfect. Now we can finally take them out and rid the world of boring heroes forever. Thanks for stopping by at the stage and watching us film. Just so you know, I tried keeping the hair flat but it won't stay down. And this is the recreation of your home. Looks awesome. No, it doesn't. The walls look fake. The floor looks fake. Nothing in here looks like the real house. But your complaining is very authentic. Ugh, I had to take this call from my other movie, Killer Zombie Orthodontists. Orthodontists? Yeah, I know. We're really running out of ideas. Jack. What happened? You said you were gonna meet me at the pool and then you left without even saying goodbye. What do you want me to say? I'm not much of a water person. Great news. Since you were all so helpful, I'm putting you in the scene we're about to shoot. You want us to be in the movie? Yep, yeah, but instead of playing action heroes, you get to play the bad guys. What do you think? Let's go. We're gonna be in the movie. We're gonna be in the movie. We're gonna be in the movie. Oh, so now you're on board. Great, so then it's settled. I don't get it. Jack won't even talk to me. It's so weird. Not really. Boys blow you off all the time. What if he's got another girl on set? So what? You just met the guy. We had a connection, I'm not crazy. Look, all I'm saying is that if he is seeing someone else, I need to know about it, so I can go sabotage it. Girls, always so desperate. I hope Corley is not seeing someone else. Huh? Self-absorbed much? Huh? Let's see who Mr. Popular is getting messages from. Hurry, we gotta be back on set. This is what I wanted to show you. I finished analyzing the power patch. Then we're good. As soon as we're ready to film, we'll do it. My picture. Come on, let's go. Okay, we're about to start filming. Positions, please. Where's Rosie? We'll take care of her later. Just make sure to use the real weapon on them. My pleasure. Okay, just like we rehearsed. Boris, Kalo and Leo will say your lines, then Jack will shoot you. Lights, camera, action. Any sign of the action, hero? I think we lost him. I told you we'd get away with it. I agree. Thanks for making it so easy. No. What are you doing? You just ruined the scene. And my tech was perfect. This is all a trap. Corley lured us here so that Jack could take us out with this. Rosie, that's a prop. Really? I'm lost. Are we still doing the scene? No, this isn't even a real movie. What? Corley, what is going on? Go ahead, tell them. The only reason I've been making movies all these years was to capture Kayla, Rosie, and Leo. What about me? Why does everyone forget about me? I gave my androids all of your abilities, but the one I couldn't get was the power patch. Why didn't you just ask me for it? We could have worked together. I don't want to work with you. My technology is far superior, you're my competition, and the first rule of business is to eliminate the competition. Really? I thought it was promotion, promotion, promotion. This is crazy. There is no way that your Android technology is that advanced. Oh, really? Jack, why don't we show them? Jack's a killer Android. You really know how to pick him, Rosie. Now that I have the schematics for the power patch, I can give it to all of my Androids. Wait, how do you have those schematics? Rosie gave them to me. What? I'm sorry he tricked me. 
Nice work, Jack. Finish them off. Wait. If you destroy me, you destroy Coralie's laptop with the Power Patch schematics. Ugh, who cares? I have backups all over my servers. Not if we create a virus that takes out your entire network. Quick, hand me the laptop. We need time to feel the virus. Ow. Just wait for it, it's gonna hurt any second now. No? Okay then. Got it, the virus is out. Haha, -ha. we just fried all your servers, just like you fried my heart. Surround them. Hey, where are you taking him? Since Leo destroyed my network, we're going to destroy Leo. Not if we stop you. That's not gonna happen, this entire set is rigged with explosives, and once they detonate, the world will think it's an unfortunate accident. <coughs> Goodbye Boris, and thanks for giving me the last piece of the puzzle. Kelly, are you okay? Yeah, but I'm not sure about my performance. Can we start at the top? <laughs> okay, I don't know what's more annoying. The beeping sound counting down the seconds to our death, or that. I'm gonna go with that. Lock him up. Where am I? And why am I stuck to this chair? My robotics lab, the lever over there is rendering you stuck to the chair. Can I get you anything? Water, tea? Sharp pain in your neck as we rip your neck open. You know, I was built in that very chair. Kind of funny. It's where I had my first day, and you're having your last. All this technology and you couldn't give him a sense of humor. My androids have superior intelligence, which makes them not vulnerable to things like pain or emotion or lives ending. Keely, Rosie and Boris will come for me. I'm sure they would, if they weren't about to be involved in a tragedy. Tragedy? What are you talking about? 10 seconds. Wait something's weird, why would Coralie leave all her androids behind to blow up with us? Three seconds. No. Well, that's a wrap on the three of them. Wait, what is that? They escaped. But that's impossible. Looks like you need my intelligence more than your stupid robots do. <laughs> I'm just playing, don't use a chainsaw, don't use the chainsaw. Great idea, Kalu. How did you know that grabbing onto an android while they were teleporting would teleport us out too? I didn't. I just figured if I'm getting blown up I'm taking one of them with me. We gotta find Leo. Poor Leo, this is all my fault. Notice nobody's saying no, it's not. I'm serious. I trusted Jack and now Leo may die because of it. That's what you get for falling in love with an android. Hey, compared to some of the other guys she's liked, it's a step up. Ooh, I should have thought of this sooner, the Find My Phone app. His GPS signal's not coming up, Coralie must have deactivated it. Great so now Leo's fate lies in the hands of your evil ex-girlfriend. Hey, at least she's human. I bet Kaiyu, Rosie, and Boris are tracking me down as we speak. And when they do, I'll take them out. Forget about them. It's time to destroy Leo. I'm going to grab something sharp. Ugh, sounds messy. Better go get my hairnet. Computer, disabled chair.
How'd you get out? I'd tell you, but then I'd have to battle you. I'm gonna battle you anyway I disable the chair with your computer. Abs of steel bra, literally. What is happening? It's called a power patch, and this is called reversing polarity, bruh. Were you really gonna waste my ability on this trash? Of course not, Jack is the old model, it took me 20 years to get him programmed to this level and he is still unreliable, your ability is going into my new fleet of androids. What? Say hello to the future. Each andro takes the appearance of whatever human I program it to be. This is my Uncle Jerry. A 50-year-old with a gut. No offense, but the only thing Uncle Jerry could destroy is a hogai. If you think that hurt, wait till you meet my Aunt Betty. Leo could be everywhere, literally everywhere. And if he's in pieces he could be everywhere, literally everywhere. Wait a second. I do have Coralie's phone number, would it be worth to just call her? You don't wanna seem too eager, wait two days until you ask her out again. Yeah, good idea. Are you insane? Call her. Hello? So, just calling to say hey, quick question, I know it's been about 20 years but have you seen my grey hoodie? Give it up Boris, I know you're trying to trace me, you're too late. Hey, is that Uncle Jerry? Where have you been man you dropped out of our fantasy football league? Uncle Jerry is one of my new androids, I can give him whatever human form I want, see? We're going to track you down and get your location. You can't leave now, you've got company. Ugh, not a good time dude can you come back later? How are we gonna get past him? We have to get to Leo. One of us will have to battle them. Rosie, you help track Coralie, Boris and I will distract the android. You know what? I'm gonna leave that to you, I'm a lover, not a fighter. And today, you're the victim. Ah. You know, I decided to have kids specifically so others would fight my battles. These things aren't humans, they're machines. There's got to be some sort of internal power source we can take out so they'll deactivate. You know, when me and Coralie built androids in school, we would always fight about where to put the power source. I said in the neck for easy access, she said in the nose so it's not exposed. It's actually why we broke up. Trust me that is not why you broke up. The point is, I bet his power source is in his nose. We just gotta get in there and shut it down. I am not sticking my fingers in his nose. Well you can get in there other ways, it's just gonna take you longer to get there. This isn't working, one of us has to distract him so the other one can get in that nose flip his switch and shut him down and guess what, you're up again. Come on son, you gotta dig, get in there. Come on, this is disgusting, got it. Ah, did she really have to give them robos not? Actually. That was my idea, ha ha ha. Kalu and Rosie are here. I knew they would come for me, how'd I know? Because I'm... 
Well if I was able to move I'd be pointing at my head saying brilliant. They may have gotten past one android, but let's see how they do with ten of them. No, I may be one of your older models but I can easily take those two. Then do it. I can't find him anywhere. Me neither. Ah, uh, uh, come on, let's go. Oh look, Jack's here. I should give you two some alone time. Kalu. Which one of you should I take out first? Coralie? Boys. Wait, you make movies build robots and you can fight? I know I'm supposed to hate you but can I just say, you go girl. Whoa, hey you tell me how to do that and I'll give you the power patch. Coralie. You may have cool abilities but there's one thing you haven't learned. Real heroes hit people when their backs are turned. Leo. He's not breathing. There's no pulse. Oh no this isn't happening, come on Leo. Caillou, Caillou, Caillou. It's over, he's gone. And it's all my fault. Oh, oh, what a shame, you arrived too late. I will destroy you, for what you did to him. I'm so sorry for your loss, but why mourn your friend, when you should join him? Yeah, join me in kicking your butt. Leo. Wait, there's two of you. How is this possible? After you were gone I used my computer skills to vocally redirect the android's blade to cut me free. Wait then who is on the table? My android replica. Coralie was silly enough to show me how she makes them, so I distracted her and her android and made one who looks like me. Well done, but there's plenty more where he came from. I guess androids aren't immortal after all. Technically they're not dead just deactivated. It's a good line just go with it. I thought I'd seen the last of you Boris. Yeah? Well this time, I'm breaking up with you. Hey. Jack, it's about time you got here. What are you waiting for? Take them out. Oh I will, but I'm taking you out first. What? What are you doing? Surviving. You said you were gonna get rid of me, so I'm gonna get rid of you, and once I do, I'll be in charge of all your androids. You? No one's gonna take you seriously. Then I'll make them take me seriously. We won't just take out Kalu, Rosie and Leo, we'll take out all humans. Goodbye Coralie. Save me and I'll get coffee with you. Dad. Maybe now you'll take me seriously, human. Get him. One more step, and I'll eliminate her. Caillou, use your power patch. No, it'll take you out too. Jack has no regard for human life. If taking me out means saving others then do it. I can't. He's gonna take me out anyway you might as well take him out too. She's right. Ha 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 ha. They don't have the guts. It's okay.
I'm not much of a water person. You owe me a swim. Nah, ooh, 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 ooh. That was amazing. How did you know how to do that? I finally realized why Jack didn't like water. Old androids must be like cell phones. Wait, so does this mean the role in three action heroes is up for grabs? Wait, where did Quarterly go? Oh man, the good ones always get away. I mean, oh no. Leo, I'm sorry. I can't believe I trusted Jack just because he was cute, and tall, and ripped. Yeah well now he's mangled melted and dead. Hey, what's important is that everyone's okay, and Coralie is still out there, but without her androids she's powerless, she's got nothing left. Come on, it's gotta be around here somewhere. There we go. Jack was such a disappointment. But you won't be. Hello, Lila. Heads up, we got a visitor coming. It's my chief scientist Dr. Rad, and he is by far the smartest man I have ever worked with. Hey hey, what's up guys? Dr. Rad is here to construct a new space elevator. Space elevator? That was my idea. The space elevator is a highly advanced transport that can take you up to space. Since it's held up by gravity we can resupply without ever using a rocket. Caillou you look confused and or constipated, do you have a question? Yes, why is he working on this? The space elevator was my idea, I've been constructing the idea for years. Yes but I had to pass it off, don't worry Dr. Rad has been working off your research. Hey but no argument here you had so many flaws in your design. So that'll be the launch pad for the space elevator. What do you think? I'll have to do some calculations but, sounds legit. What's going on? Dr. Rad is going to do some calculations for the new space elevator. I already did the calculations. Jeez, you need to stop being enemies with Dr. Ryan and learn to work together. I think it's time you both go to the tree. Tree? What tree? Dr. Rad, can you please take Kalu to the tree? When I was a kid, Mr. Mark took me to this beautiful lake up north to train. The place was flooded a couple years ago, so I found this spot instead. You hear that? I want you to close your eyes and just listen. What do you hear? Um, nothing. Exactly. No phone calls, no internet, no family arguments. Just you and Mother Nature. This is what concentration is all about. Come on, let me show you something else. Wow, I feel like I'm Jackie Chan. I've got to admit, you're more of a natural than I was. But don't get too cocky there's always another lesson to be learned. But training isn't over yet, you may know the moves but none of that matters unless you have balance. Balance? Yep, balance in your body, and balance in your life. You gotta search inside for the good stuff you know. Because then you can find some balance in your life. It's not easy but, you'll do it. But now you are about to hate me, let's start some sparring. Why can't we do something advanced? I'm already maxed out at fighting. Okay, let us see how much you really know.
What the heck? So, Mr. Mark did not teach you everything. Are you sure that was his style? That didn't seem like his style to me. His style takes on many forms. Our ancestors had to fight invaders. The only way to survive was to kill. Mr. Mark never told me about any of this. Maybe he thought you were not ready or not able. Maybe Mr. Mark was just trying to protect me, we're not living hundreds of years ago, there's no reason anymore to kill. Sometimes you have no choice, but to kill. What did you do? Now. It's time to finish you off once and for all. Dr. Ant, no. Ha 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 ha, you were totally scared. I'm glad you're having fun at my expense. You should have seen your face. What technique was that? My limbs were not able to move. Secret Mr. Mark pressure points. If an enemy insists on war, then you take away their ability to wage it. Can you teach me? Looks like we are ready to launch. Hold it. I thought I told you guys not to start without me. Oh Galu, geniuses can't be bothered. I'm very impressed you guys. Because of you two we're about to make history. Now it's time to test fire these rockets. Don't you think I should do a scan to make sure it acts? Bah bah bah, trust me, my work is flawless. I graduated college when I was 10. Oh yeah? Well, I went to high school for four years. Wow, you showed him. Aha, there's a design flaw in the braking system, he won't be able to stop. Are you serious? We have to tell Dr. Rad. No wait, what if we don't? He will be humiliated in front of everyone and Dad will reassign me to head the project. That's actually a brilliant plan, Shady, but brilliant. Thank you. Now just one more thing, I need you to strap in the test dummy. Oh you won't be needing that, I will be taking the elevator ride myself. No dad you can't. Yes I can, watch me. Stop, you're gonna die. The capsule's soundproof so I can't hear you, but I read lips say it again. You're gonna die. Oh I guess I can't read lips. It looks like you're saying, I'm gonna die. My dad's life is in danger. You have to abort the launch. It's not cool to sabotage my moment with straight up lies. I just noticed a flaw in your elevator. One of your genius algorithms must have been off. What? And you tell me now. 10, 9, 8. Leo. Sorry, I was caught in the moment. Where is the abort button? Why would I make a I am going to fail button? Because, you just failed. Whoa, from down here, it looks like my launch was on point. Once the elevator reaches the end of the tether, Dad will be floating in space with no way back to Earth. Guys. The elevator speed keeps increasing. I wonder if he even knows how fast he's going. <laughs> Wait, is it the elevator propelled by magnets? Yes. So if we reverse the polarity, won't it send Boris back down? He's right. Try reversing the polarity. Done. Oh, I think it's over. It worked. It's coming back down. Guys, there's still no way to stop it and the elevator is coming down 10 times faster. 20 seconds to impact. What do we do? Look away. Forget it I'll save him. Get down the elevator will crush you. Using the power batch, my arm is strong enough to stop it. At that speed, the impact will carry all the way through your body. The power patch also absorbs energy. Maybe it'll withstand the impact. That's too risky. It's coming. We don't have a choice.
I did it, I'm okay, and it's heavy. Boris, how did you get out of the elevator? I ejected using the parachute I bought with me. You didn't think I trusted my life with some technology built by a couple of kids who can't get along together. Hey Kalu. What the, you're not even in there. It's okay, if I don't look, it won't hurt as much. I looked, I looked, I looked. Caillou, you're okay. The doctor said his femur and tibia bones were broken so badly, he'd need a titanium rod put in. Then dad said that sounds expensive and wheeled me right out of the hospital. That's not what really happened. I was just worried he wouldn't be able to help fight villains anymore so I did the procedure myself. Now he has a power leg. Wait so thanks to you he now has a power leg. I'm beginning to question your parenting skills. You two are my brightest minds. What happened out there? We got so caught up in proving to each other how smart we are that we did something really stupid. I guess I need to learn to work with others. Hey dad. Are you sure this worked? My leg doesn't feel any different. Well it may take a while for the power to kick in. Well, good thing I have fast reflexes. Looks like it worked to me. There he is. The man himself. This is it guys. It's time we all work together. This is what we have been training for. Inner strength, discipline, precision. Galu, Rosie, and Leo, won't know what hit them. Very impressive. This is it. The end is near. That was a good business speech, Dr. Rad. Thank you, Rosie. Are we almost there? This is taking forever. Yeah, you're right. We should have been at our house 30 minutes ago. Hey, I think you're going the wrong way. I don't think the driver wants us to leave. What are you doing? We promised to make our boss's dream a reality. Don't worry, we'll make sure Kalu, Rosie and Leo are done for. We have visitors. Boris and Dr. Rad. It's two against one, what makes you think we won't knock him out? Oh everyone, come on out. Alright buddy, let's go. Get up. Behind you. Uh oh, I don't think this is gonna turn out the way you thought. We need to get inside and save Dad and Dr. Ryan. If they use a security alarm system then I should be able to bypass it. We're gonna have to take out the villains once and for all. Okay so loading the code off of their computer like the first day of computer camp. Look out, there's a camera right there. Done. I can't believe this is it. We're going to take them down. Hey, someone is breaking into our office. 
they're hitting us on two fronts. I'll join you there as soon as I wrap things up here. I got these guys, go! Okay. I got it. Shoot. What happened? The file I was working on has just been erased. They must have covered the tracks. So what now? What are you guys doing here? Who is that? We'll go check it out. You stay here, we need those security cameras disabled. You know, you're all committing a crime right now, it's called trespassing. You're working for a villain, you don't have to do this. Yeah I do. What was it, you said would happen? If I cross your line, you will beg for mercy, right, well. It's time to find out. This is truly disappointing. I thought you'd at least prove more of a challenge than Kalu. Oh yeah, there's a good boy. Ah. Not bad Dr. Rad, but now, it's time to see what you're really made of. I am not afraid to kill. And I'm not afraid to die. Come on, Dr. Rad, you came all this way, let's see what you got. For all the vaunted talk about Kalu and Rosie being superior, I knew you were a warrior at heart. Just like me, you are no warrior, you know nothing, about finding balance. I was meant to die a long time ago. Do it. I, uh... You gotta search inside for the good stuff you know. Because then you can find some balance in your life. It's not easy but, you'll do it. madness out there, I need to hurry. I need to log into their Google account. Hey, there's someone upstairs. Well well well, look who it is.
you look terrible. Where's the other one? Outside. And off the board. I'm gonna kill you. That seems unlikely. Layla always told me you had guts, I'll give you that, but there's just not much upstairs. I got another mess, to clean up at the other building, take care of this. Finish him. I got it, now to get the heck out of here. You disappointed me, Rosie. Yeah, well likewise. Let this be my final lesson to you, and a more painful one than the last. Kalu, I got it. Get him. Go. That's it? That was your big plan? Kalu. Breaking into my building, to hack our systems which changes nothing. It wasn't his plan, it was ours. Our enemies, think they can keep attacking us with no repercussions. You think I'm the only one willing to go to these lengths? The three of them broke into my property. But here I am, the only one left standing. They think they're entitled to victory because their way is right and our way is wrong. But that's not how it works. There are no morals to the story, no happy endings, life isn't a fairy tale, it's a competitive sport, right and wrong, there's no such thing. There are only winners and losers. I thought you were a bad guy. No, this was all a setup to take down the villains. Where's Dr. Rad? Everything you did to try and stop me just made everything worse. Now, you can either accept that, or make things even worse. First I took care of Dr. Rad, now you, this, is where your legacy ends. My legacy existed before you were relevant, it'll be around long after we're gone. I'm telling you, I'm the one who rescued everyone from this place, you could just call me a hero. Do you need a ride home or anything? Yeah, I told my mom I'd be home hours ago. Don't worry, I got your back. Hey, listen man not. Uh, not right now, it's just not a good time okay? Oh my god, Dr. Ad. We have to get you to the hospital. Oh, it's just a flesh wound. Yeah but it's like all your flesh, can we get a medic? 
So, what will happen if the villain breaks out again? That will be very unlikely. We're going to send our best guards to make sure he doesn't escape. Well, looks like we finally got a happy ending. Leo? Congratulations. You did what I always thought you could do. You won. Everyone closed the book on us. They thought I was done. But now they see that the real story has only just begun.